All right, a local bakery has it all from tasty bagels to traditional empanadas. Let's take a look at these tasty treats. Molly Real is in Sacramento finding out what else they have in <laughs> store. Hi, Molly. <laughs> Uh, and take a look, we will check this out. Now, I told them all we need to do is just oh, show you it. the picture of this for about three minutes, just and that will carbs. be enough. But you know what? There is so much to say about this bakery. So, this is called Forgotten Bakery, and a lot goes into that name. So, we are right along Stockton Boulevard. Uh, this place has been open. This is the fourth weekend, Thursday through Sundays, 8 to 2 or until sell out. And it is all thanks to Robbie and Paul here. Now, this is bagels and it's empanadas. And Robbie, why don't you tell us why that is? <laughs> well, I, I, I come from a bagel background. My dad um, has been making bagels his whole life. And Paul uh, comes from a Chilean background making empanadas his whole life. So we both kind of lived in the environment of bagels and empanadas and we combined them together and opened this bakery. Yeah, you were like, I always wanted to open a bagel shop and you said, I always wanted to open an empanada shop. So you combine forces and here we are. Now, what's in a name? With Forgotten Bakery, there is a lot. Uh, I keep joking this morning, like, you'll never forget this place though. <laughs> it is truly unforgettable, the culinary experience you have, but there is a lot in the name. Tell us where you get Forgotten Bakery. Yeah, definitely. So um, the space that we're at has been abandoned for about 10 years, so a little bit forgotten. And also just uh, kind of this area a little bit has been missing. Uh, I'd say like home cooking. There's a lot of fast food and stuff like that, but I think we're probably one of the first uh, experiences in the neighborhood to bring bring this kind of food. As someone who lives in the neighborhood, yeah. this is a dream. I mean, it's such a treat. It's a treasure for us. Uh, and then Forgotten as well kind of talks to the, the technique of things. So, uh, Robbie, tell us, you know, when it comes to making a bagel. Yeah, so these bagels um, are beer fermented, hand rolled, honey boiled, and fre baked fresh every morning. And so it's a, there's a bit of tradition in that, um, ex other for the beer part, <laughs> but it's all very traditional. Yeah. And then Paul with the empanadas? Yeah, so empanada, everything's made from scratch. Uh, we still use a, a rolling pin for the dough. So that's why our little logo has a rolling pin. Um, and essentially, yeah, with Forgotten, it's just, uh, you know, we, we worried that, that these recipes and just this kind of cooking was going to be forgotten if we didn't do our, our roles in keeping it alive. Okay, and really quickly, we have to talk about the menu. So you have uh, a variety of different bagels. You do bagel sandwiches. You do bagels with schmear. Uh, you have a variety of empanadas. And then you're also testing some new recipes, like a Nutella granola bagel right there. Uh, can, which one's the cheese empanada? This one here. That one? Okay. Can we show the cheese pull, you guys? I had this last Thursday. Okay. This is truly. Oh, yes. I mean, uh, do you yes. see what is happening? <laughs> Woo! Uh, also, oh, if you follow Forgotten Bakery motion. on Instagram, it's truly become like an Instagram sensation. The pictures, I mean, there's so many pictures of those bagels split open down the middle. What does it mean for you that this has become such an important place for people so quickly? I think it just. It's important because we want people to know what good baked goods taste like in this neighborhood. And I think people have been missing bagels for a long time around here. And same with empanadas. So it just makes us happy to see people eating our food and smiling and coming back and waiting in line. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it makes me happy too. Okay, opens today at 8, Thursday through Sunday, 8 to sell out or until 2, but usually they sell out because it is the real deal. By the way, as we leave, everyone say hello to Robbie and Paul's dads, Jim and Robert Aww, right there. How sweet are they? We've been, uh, I know. That's so Truly sweet. a celebration of food, family, and of neighborhood. Come here, you won't forget it. Proud of their boys, Ooh. making good food. We need more cheese poles on the show. I agree. Here, here. I love a good cheese. That pole. was a great cheese pole.